Hello guys, welcome back to Patrona Mujer. I'll be sharing with you a tutorial on how to make the model you see in the picture. Write down the materials you will need for this jacket. We'll find the pattern description in the magazine Children's Pattern number 14. You will find the link where you can find the magazine in the description below of the video. Once we have the pattern tracing from the magazine, we cut along the side line that will make. These are finished pattern with mesh. They have one centimeter seams, hems, and come with notches and red lines. Firstly, look at the pattern line and place all the pattern according to the line and how to use the fabric. In this case, on the main fabric, we are going to cut parallel to the selvage of the fabric. Grab your pattern pieces and prepare to cut them out. This is the back. We place on full edge and we cut one piece. This is the front. We place on top and insert the piece around and we cut two pieces on mirror. This is the facing piece of the front. Insert the pins around and we cut two pieces of mirror. the same piece, insert the pins around of the pattern and we cut two pieces. In total we have four pieces from this one. This is the sleeve, insert the pins around the pattern and we cut two pieces on mirror. The color we place on full edge and we cut two pieces in total. Remember to snip the notches before to take off the fabric, so snip the notches on the sleeve and the facing piece, the backs. This is the lining, this is the center back, and next to it we have the sleeve. We have a full edge at the back, but leave two centimeters of space in the center back because we want to be a little bit loose, the lining. And we cut one piece on full edge. And for the sleeve, we cut two pieces on mirror.
this is the front insert the pins around the pattern and we cut two pieces on middle This is the elastic fabric and this piece is the waistband we place on full edge and we cut one piece. This is the cuff. Insert the pins around the pattern and we cut two pieces on mirror. This is the flexible fabric. This is the facing piece of the front and we cut two pieces on mirror. This is the collar. We have a full edge and we cut one piece. This is the other piece of the color. We place the pattern, insert the pins around and we cut two pieces on mirror. These are the pieces from the front and we fuse them. This is the color and we fuse the pieces and this is the other one and this is this are the front this is the back these are the sleeves these are the elastic the cuffs and the waistband the lining these are the front from the front the back and the sleeves the zipper First, we start with the um, facing the back and the front pieces. Face the right of the fabric. This is the main fabric. We close one side and then the other one. After that, we'll place the elastic and we are going to sew all along of the piece. We are going to also sew the prints from the front. And then we're going to place the zipper. On the machine we face the right of the fabric. This is the main fabric. This is the front and the back and we sew them on the sides. Continue with the elastic, so you have to pull the elastic, you have to match the size and the center back and pull the elastic for match them and sew them all along.
the uh, facing piece from the front we face the right of the front and we sew them all along from the top to the bottom This is the left of the jacket, the front of the jacket. We place the zipper from the notch and we use one single side foot for pass the stitch close to the tits of the zipper. Face the right of the zipper and the front and pass the stitch to all along. Uh, now we place the zipper on the right side of the jacket. We use one single side foot for place the zipper because we need to pass the stitch close to the teeth. Face the right of the zipper and sew them all along. We open the seams of the jacket, uh, pull the seams from to the side and pass a stitch from the top to the bottom. This is the color. We place the pattern on top and we make a mark all, or all around the piece. Take the other pieces of the color and we're going to close on the center back. Then we're going to sew all around of the color. These are the slips and face the right and pin it on the sides. We will to close on the side and then we fold the elastic in half and we place on the slip. You have to match the sides and pull the elastic for match the, the notches. We start with the pieces of the collar face the right and sew them on the center back. Then we press with the iron the seams of the other pieces and face the right, sew them all around of the collar. Cut the excess of the fabric around the collar, cut the corners and continue to all along. Turn out the piece and with the help of the scissor pull the corners, then we press with the iron the collar. Now we pass a stitch from the bottom and continue all around. Close the bottom part of the collar.
continue with the slip. This is one of the slip. We face the rods and we close on the sides. We make the same process for the other slip that we have made for this one. This is the elastic of the cuff. We face the rods and we close on the sides and then we fold in half and match the sides and we start sewing and you have to pull the elastic for the spray the elastic all around of the cuff we pass a stitch on the head of the sleeve from the notch to notch We're going to place the other piece of the front on the left side. Then we're going to close on the shoulders. Put the zipper on this side and we fold a little bit the zipper and pass a stitch on it and with the help of the pliers, take off the pit. We face the rights of the front pieces and with the single side foot, we pass a stitch close to the zipper. And sew them from the top to the bottom. We face the rise of the furry and fold past a stitch close to the zipper from the bottom to the top. Shoulder Place the rights of the fabric and sew them on the shoulders. We continue with the color. We face the rights, match the center back and the notches. We are going to close to place the slip. You have to match the notches with the shoulders, the sides, and the notches from the front and the back. Place the collar from the notch and sew them all along. You have to match the sides and the center back. This is the sleeve, we start at the side, face the right of the fabric and go all around of the ham hole. Remember to match the front and the back with the help of the notch and continue spreading the gather 
on the ham hook. We jump to the lining. This is the back, and remember we left two centimeter at the center back because we want to really lose the this the back the lining. So we're going to sew on the center back a little bit, and then we face the rights of the front and the back, and we're going to close on the sides place on top the facing pieces and pin it all along And we continue closing the shoulders. These are the sleeves. We face the rights and pin it on the sides. the center back we measure two centimeter from the center back and we pass a stitch a little bit part on the top and also a little bit part on the bottom part and then we face the rights of the front and the back and we close on the sides This is the facing piece from the front. We face the right of the fabric and we start sewing from the bottom to the top. Close one shoulder. This is the other from piece facing, we face the right of the fabric and we start sewing from the top to the bottom. And finish closing on the other shoulder. The sleeve, we face the right of the sleeve, but for this one, we have to leave a gap because we have to we have to turn off the garment for this gap. Pass a stitch on the head of the sleeve for get a little bit gather the sleeve. And we continue with the other the sleeve, face the right of the fabric and close all the sleeve. We place the sleeve with the lining match the notches the sides and the notches from the front and the back this is the sleeve we start at the side and you have to match the notches these are the two notches spray together and match the shoulder and continue all around the hand hook. The other sleeve is the same as we made for this one. We're going to close the main fabric with the lining. We start at the bottom, 
so match the center front the sides the center back and pin it all all the bottom of the jacket Paint the center front Match the neckline with the collar and the lining the other center front continue with the sleeve match the cuffs the sides and pin the other side you have to match the sides threads of the lining and the main fabric and sew them all along of the bottom part of the jacket you have to match the sides and the center back pull the elastic This is the center front. We start sewing from the bottom to the top. Turn the garment and we continue with the neckline so you have to match the shoulders and the notches around the neckline This is the other center front. We start from the bottom to the top, and you have to use the one single side foot for pass the stitch in the center front because we have the zipper inside. This is the cuff. Match the fabrics and pull the elastic for pass the sewing all around the cuff
cut the corners cut the excess of the fabric along the neckline Snip the curves around the neckline. Fold the elastic in half and Close them. We're going to turn out the piece by the gap that we left on the sleeve. Finish closing the gap that we left on the sleeve. We fold the elastic in half and we sew them all along of the elastic. Turn the garment by the gap and this is the center front, we pass a stitch all along of the garment. We pass a stitch on the center front, on the neckline and we finish on the other center front. piece and we, we and continue sewing all around on the jacket stitch the neckline we pass a stitch on the other center front A stitch on the bottom of the jacket and finish closing the gap that we left on the sleeve by passing a stitch on it and this is half finish jacket looks this is the front with the zipper the cuffs and the back Okay, thanks guys for watching the video, hope you really like it and 
Be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell button so that you get notification every time a new video is unlocked and here a couple of videos you can watch next. The account is at Patreon Mujer and as always thank you guys for watching the video.